This is the Thompson Cast. I am Mel Thompson. You know, the uh, European countries that are part of the Eurozone are now starting to really dig in their heels. And they're doing this in response to a, a formula. One is not well known, but the formula actually has mathematical implications that may shift some degree of economic power to China. And it all revolves around the reforms of the International Monetary Fund, or the IMF. And these reforms have been in the making for a period of time. And in 2010, a deal was sealed, contemplated, solidified, if you will. And the deal puts the IMF and the World Bank in a position where they are in a situation that encourages and helps and fosters greater economic opportunity for China as opposed to the European Union. And if you can possibly imagine, which I'm sure you can, this does create some degree of consternation within the EU at this particular time. And, of course, the bickering, fighting, and political in intrigue, the whole thing, is creating a deadlock situation where nothing is going to get done until this one issue is completely, unequivocally resolved. Now, the um, deal in question, the 2010 deal, it was a... It wasn't a um, an afterthought or anything else. It was. It took a while to develop and Im implement, and it was part of a bigger plan by the IMF to recognize the uh, growing economic clout of emerging economies, and this would include China as well. And the problem is that they did not look at the um, political implications of the mathematical and logical solutions that the IMF usually does focus on and work on there's always politics in the, mix, in the mix there's always an issue of political reform or political risk involved and the IMF should have looked at all factors including the mathematical factors which is what drives them on a daily basis these are the types of things that are such obvious political risks that you can't simply ignore them and they become huge political risks for foreign direct investors because they are not in a position to dictate policy, nor are they in a position to tell the IMF analyst to look at the big picture. They are essentially at the mercy of those who report findings of policy and forecast policy implications down the road. This was completely missed. Because now you have a political risk in that the countries involved have an issue with this. And I can't logically tell you exactly what's going to happen. I do know one thing, that politicians, when they're caught off guard or appear to be in a precarious position, do make mistakes occasionally. And the mistakes inevitably always will harm somebody other than themselves in the short term. And since you have a European Union and a European economic market that is very, very volatile at this point, any move to try to rein in this particular policy may meet with and has met with some degree of backlash by the IMF. And a backlash and infighting and bickering at this point between the EU and the IMF is certainly going to be something that would diminish, and rightfully so diminish, the prospect of a solid recovery in the EU. This is pure and political risk at its most basic form. Above and beyond policy changes, when people start to fight among themselves, people in power, that is, you will always inevitably have some policy that is not going to be of a liking of either side that will settle the dispute. And certainly the risks that are inherent in such discussions are more prevalent in the lives and economic well-being of the foreign direct investor than anybody else, particularly the powers that be. 
Now, you also um, must realize that this is a discussion as opposed to a conflict. And that is a good thing. But the very fact that you have the EU and the IMF possibly pitted against each other over policies that may end up benefiting China, which is doing everything it can, making all the moves it possibly can to be a world economic superpower and essentially surround the EU as such, creates a great deal of tension among xenophobic and even non-xenophobic politicians in the EU who themselves have such horrible political problems at home because of the economic downturn of the EU that they must do something or blame somebody or find some boogeyman. And in this particular case, they have found two. They have now found the IMF, and they're also going to continue their finger-pointing at China, when in fact, all they had to do was run their own shop in their own home in a manner that would not make it vulnerable to a risk from a Chinese economic superpower. By not seeing this coming, that was a political risk upon the House of the EU. This has been a Thompson cast. I am Mel Thompson.